alcohol is going to kill your skin cells, alcohol leads to premature aging, alcohol is drying and destroys the skin barrier. I bet you have heard all that before. But if it's true, why is it still present in skincare? Are companies deliberately trying to harm their customers? I don't think so. But let's talk about it. The different kinds of alcohol, the benefits of using them in skincare, and the possible side effects it can have. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. First, what is an alcohol and what different kinds are there? Going back to basic chemistry, an alcohol is a carbon-based structure with a hydroxyl group. As that is rarely printed on the ink list, though, I will give you some actual ingredient names instead. First, the so-called drying alcohols, which you guessed it, are the ones mainly referred to when you talk about bad alcohols. They are listed as alcohol dinat, SD alcohol, ethyl alcohol, or ethanol. Then there are the so-called fatty alcohols, like cetyl alcohol, which due to their chemical structure are used as emollient, so a completely different thing to the drying ones. And lastly, glycerin, which you probably know as effective humectant, but which by structure also qualifies as alcohol. Oh, and there is a kind of alcohol that you should not find in skincare. Methanol. Methanol is absorbed through the skin and can lead to seizures or other neurological symptoms, something that quite recently led to a recall of DIY hand sanitizers. So yes, not all alcohols are created equal. But as I'm no chemist and had to really dig deep to come up with this information, let's stick to the use of drying or bad alcohols in skincare from here. Are there benefits of using alcohol in skincare products? As I mentioned before, I do not believe that companies are going out of their way to harm their customers. So there must be a reason why alcohol is still present in so many formulas. Well, actually, there are several. The first, alcohol is a solvent. If you want to combine different ingredients, you need to get them to mix. The most common solvent used is water, but some ingredients like salicylic acid, for example, don't mix very well with water, so you need something stronger. This is especially important when it comes to formulating sunscreen. In sunscreens, the protecting filters need to form an even layer. Patchy application reduces the protection you get. So you will often find alcohol used as solvent in sunscreens or BHA products. Second, alcohol is used to extract beneficial ingredients from plants, for example, example. If you want to get the beneficial parts of a plant, you need to extract them from the leaf, the flower, the root, the wherever you want to take them from. As alcohol is great at solving things, especially oily ones, it is often used in that process. And if the alcohol is completely done by the time you're done extracting and you put the plant extract into your product, alcohol will be listed on the inky list. Third, alcohol improves texture. Alcohol is very volatile, meaning it evaporates from your skin. So if you have it in your formula, it disappears when applied to the skin, which makes the product dry down or sink in quicker. It basically feels more lightweight than it would otherwise. And the last, alcohol is a penetration enhancer. On a microscopic level, alcohol leads to changes in the skin barrier due to changes in the lipid structure and some enzymes. This is only temporary, but means that ingredients that are applied alongside alcohol have a bigger chance of penetrating deeper into the layers of the skin. Great if you deal with any ingredients that have a hard time penetrating otherwise. Are there side effects of alcohol in skincare. What I said in the beginning does sound kind of scary, and while it's of course not true, it's not without some truth. So let's play a game of true or false skincare edition. Alcohol is going to kill your skin cells. True? If you put your isolated skin cells in a petri dish and soak them in pure alcohol, which could not be further away from the way we use it in skincare. Alcohol itself is volatile, meaning it evaporates when it's exposed to the air. So the majority of alcohol from your product goes up in the air. Which then again means that the concentration of alcohol actually on your skin is too low to do damage to your cells. On top of that, the upper layer of your skin is made up of already dead skin cells. No harm to be done here, all to quote Game of Thrones, what is dead may never die. It is unlikely that alcohol would penetrate deep enough to reach any living cells, and even if it did, again, the concentration would be way too low to do any harm. Alcohol leads to premature aging. False. Alcohol in itself will not make wrinkles magically appear. But alcohol in high concentrations might lead to irritation, which leads to inflammation, which in turn is responsible for skin aging. But how high is that risk? 
thanks to the recent pandemic, we have seen a lot of people use a lot of alcohol-based hand sanitizers, which contain a much higher amount of alcohol and are used much more frequently than our skincare products. So there were a few studies done looking at the risk of irritation from this frequent use of hand sanitizers, and all of them found no adverse reaction with higher concentrations and much more frequent application. Alcohol is drying and destroys the skin barrier. True-ish, I guess. I mentioned before that alcohol leads to microscopic changes in the upper layer of the skin, which makes them more permeable both for ingredients that want to go in, as well as for water that wants to go out. That change is temporary, so surely it's not a destruction of the skin barrier, merely a small alteration, but it could lead to dry skin if we only look at pure alcohol. As always in skincare, the formula is much more important than the individual ingredients. So if you pair alcohol with hydrating ingredients, it will probably not be drying at all, but instead rather moisturizing. So bottom line, is alcohol and skincare bad for you? No. Alcohol and skincare has many beneficial effects that outweigh the negatives by far, especially if you take into account that these side effects occur if you use high concentrations of pure alcohol rather than the carefully formulated versions you get in skincare. Do I recommend seeking out alcohol as skincare ingredient? No, but there is absolutely no harm in using a product that works well for you but contains a certain amount of alcohol denat. Please tell me where you stand on the whole alcohol in skincare topic down in the comments. I'm going to link to a few more videos that I think you might enjoy and I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye!